Hello students, welcome to Ishwari Tanisha channel. Students, in this video we are going to see complete detail about St. John's Medical College which is present in Bangalore. So students, if you are interested in taking admission in St. John's Medical College, you can go through this video. This will be a very useful information to you all. So in this video we are going to see about the fee structure, seat matrix and bond which you need to execute, eligibility criteria, everything we are going to see in detail. So now before going into the video, students if you are new to the video, you can subscribe the channel. In this channel, chemistry videos related to NEET and KCET examination will be uploaded. Students, it will be very useful to you. You can share with your friends. So let us start the video students. So first let us see the seat matrix. Total number of seats in St. John's Medical College is found to be 150 seats. So students before that I would like to tell you that St. John's Medical College is a private college which is situated in Bangalore, Karnataka. So here total number of seats will be 150. Out of that 10 seats will be for All India General Open Merit. So, All India General Open Merit meaning is from any state you can participate in this. Uh, it is open to all the candidates irrespective of their caste. You can participate in this. This is General Merit seat for all the candidates including the candidates from other state. Second is Institutional Staff Kota Karnataka 10 seats. Meaning is if a, uh, if a staff is working in St. John's Medical College, continuously for 10 years. So at presently uh, the staff should be working in St. John's Medical College Hospital. So for them 10 seats are reserved. It is staff quota. And third is Roman Catholic Christian Religion Sisters. Religious Sisters. 20 seats are reserved for sisters. And fourth is Roman Catholic Christian Tribals. For them 10 seats are reserved. Fifth is Roman Catholic Christians of Scheduled Caste Origin, 10 seats are reserved. And then Native, that is North Indian Roman Catholic Christians, 10 seats are reserved. And then seventh is Roman Catholic Christians of Karnataka State. So this is only for Karnataka State Roman Catholics, 10 seats are reserved. And eighth is Roman Catholic Christians, All India Open Merit. That is Roman Catholic from any state can participate in this. For them students 60 seats are reserved. And then ninth is Karnataka state open merit 10 seat. Meaning is students from Karnataka of any caste can participate in that. So irrespective of the caste you can be Hindu, Muslim, Christian any caste category. Uh, this 10 seats are reserved only for Karnataka students. So this is about number of seats. Next we will see about the fee structure. So here you can see admission fee is 32,700 rupees, refundable deposit 14,000, annual tuition fee 650,000, other fee 79,685 and RGUHS fee 12,000. So total fee payable to KEA at the time of admission is 7,88,385. Student, this fee is only for first year. Remember, every year you have to pay. This is first year fee. You have to pay 788,385 8, 8, rupees. Students, this is only related to the college fees. Uh, hostel fees and mess fee will be separate. It is not included in this. So next one important condition we are going to see. In keeping within the mission of institution to train healthcare personnel to serve in underserved areas of the country, all MBBS candidate to St. John's Medical College are required as a precondition for admission to execute a social obligation service bond to serve for two years in one of the designated hospitals or health centers in medically underserved area of the country. So if you get seat in St. John's Medical College, you have to serve for two years in one of the underserved area 
so this you have to for this you have to execute a bond so we will see the format for executing a bond so here you can see this is the format of the bond so here you have uh, in that uh, bond it should be submitted on 100 rupees stamp paper at the kea document verification so what and all should be there in that name should be there name of father mother uh, or grandparent should be present and then this condition is very important so here you have to mention that if you are not serving in underserved area for 2 years then you have to pay a penalty of 25 lakh rupees students may, uh, underline this 25 lakh you have to pay penalty this is very important make a note of this and then coming to uh, the checklist so checklist what are the things which is required to submit at the document verification is application form dali uh, filled as per kea guidelines the application form you have to give and then all candidates affidavit undertaking to execute a bond to serve in medically underserved area for a period of two years so a uh, bond you have to uh, show for the verification and all candidates study certificate, certificate to be issued by institution on institution letterhead where the candidate has studied so study certificate you have to provide then category specific eligibility document as specified so if you belong to roman catholic you have to uh, produced a, a certificate related to that so all these documents are necessary at the time of document verification so last we are going to see the eligibility criteria so as per the age the candidate should have completed 17 years of age minimum is 17 years of age and there is no maximum age limit and other criteria criteria are similar to that of need ug that is all india level the criteria which is required will be the same here as well so these are the important things you have to know about st john's medical college students if you need any further information you can write in the comment box i'll see you in the next video students bye bye